People just come up to us and hand us money. I said, okay. <laughs> all right. They, why? Because they just knew you Oh, because we had a money? shopping garage and we're just like, all right, you guys look like shit. Here, take some money. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I why not? Fucking, I uh, take money right now. I've got money, but... I got 50 cents because I fucking spent five bucks on a fucking... Dude, you want a coffee or something? Like... I want to say no. Yeah? Well, all right. We'll get a coffee. But finish the story. Sorry. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I mean, I've got... The can man. I, mean. I hate can man. <laughs> I won't even go back to that area now because fucking... What is can man? Fucking gigantic gook supermarket. And they just don't mind people sort of like living in and around there? Oh, they hate it. But there was a lot of people in the woods, and like every fucking this time of the year, dies down to only a few. He lives. I was with this dude earlier. I went through his dumpsters. That guy? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching him earlier when this dude was inside a dumpster this morning. Well, I was like, ah, oh, this. Is great. What's the best thing you've ever found in a dumpster? I'm sure you don't go like dumpsters that many a lot, but like people around you, maybe um, people who actually best do thing that. I found, I found full bottles of booze. Yeah. I found. I can imagine that being a, a full bottle of hypnotic. I found fucking... Really? Yeah. Hypnotic's awesome. Oh, yeah. I don't want to spend the fucking money on it. <laughs> it's like $40 a bottle. Right, the bottle. Or the big close. bottle, yeah. Yeah. I found fucking... I was behind Rite Aid before they fucking started locking the dumpster. I was just playing around looking at it, looking at shit, scratching it. I found a fucking $10 bill in there. I was like, who the fuck throws a $10 bill in the trash? Was it like it in a, a bag or anything? It was in a trash bag. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, it was next to a receipt. Mm. So someone probably just fucking forgot. Reached in their pocket, thought it was a receipt. Um, I was by, um, the graveyard in the center, mm -hmm. and this was a couple summers ago. I asked some guy for, like, two bucks, because I actually, I wanted to buy a water. Yeah. No bullshit. And the guy starts counting money. I see ones and fives, and he hands me fucking a hundred dollars and twenties. Wow. I was like, okay. Wow. The courthouse parking lot, I fucking, I found a hundred and eleven dollars. I felt like a fucking, looking around, and I see a twenty, pick it up, another twenty. <laughs> no way. Another twenty, pick it up. Five twenty, two fives, and a one. And I'm like, okay. That's awesome. I found twenty five hundred dollars fucking three summers ago, or throughout the whole fucking summer. Wow, dude, yeah. just, just come across that shit. You don't want this? No, it's yours. Hell yeah, I'll drink it instead of. I'll take this instead of <laughs> coffee anyway. Fucking. <laughs> I didn't necessarily mean drink it now, but that's oh, cool. Sorry. Whatever, dude. Fucking, I sat in Wendy's last night. I had a fucking half pint of vodka. And I, I just bought a fucking, a large drink. And I'm sitting in there by the fireplace and the TV goes off and I'm just sitting there talking to some kid and some kid gives me his fucking large fries. And this weird Spanish dude comes up to me and he's like, here you go, here's me 20 bucks. Mm. Okay. Wait, what did you do for the 20 bucks? What did he think you did for the 20 bucks? Know, he just he, gave it to you? He just gave it to me because uh, this Chinese kid in there was like, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm fucking miserable. <laughs> I was telling people that when they walked by, they're like, why? I'm like, I'm homeless. I got kicked out of the shelter for 30 fucking days, and I have nowhere to go. Yeah. Billy, what about your family? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where they are. Yeah. Well, my mom's in Hull, but fucking, I ain't gonna fucking waste my time going there. Because I'm not even allowed there. That, that Who's is Pam? Is that Pam? My oh. brother's ex-wife. Yeah, Dave got married. Yeah, he got married again. No, no. No. He got married to Pam a couple of years, well, a long time ago. And fucking, uh, they got divorced last year. Mm. And she's just always, you know, worries about me and wants to know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, she seems like a, like a, she seems slightly crazy, but like a nice person. Mm. I fucking fucked up when I was younger. Fucking, uh, this is not for Facebook shit. Fucking, um, my brother went to basic training and, um, I was helping Pam take care of my nieces. Mm -hmm. And, uh, me and Pam got drunk one night. Oops. <laughs> My brother was, I, I haven't seen my brother fucking since, since then. Well, since, yeah. Well, I already know he's gonna knock my dick loose when he sees me. Mm. But we started getting along on the phone and shit. I'd be like, what are you doing? He's like, drinking. What are you doing? I'm like, drinking. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, oh, I'm getting drunk off Mike's Hard Lemonade. I'm like, Dave, be a man. I'm drinking vodka. <laughs> he's like, what are you mixing it with? I'm like, my mouth. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, my sister's doing good. I see her a lot of Brugers. Huh? I see her a lot of Brugers. Yeah, I think she works Or I there. used to see her a lot of Brugers. I think she I haven't been in there, there in a little while. I guess she was doing modeling for a while. 
and she works at Barrett's Haunted Museum, yeah. Haunted House, or whatever it is. Yeah. She don't want to talk to me though. Who's Destin? You're an alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing for? Yeah. Uh, how's your mom? She's good. Parents are good. Um, uh, we're like uh, they're having people over for Christmas, uh, so I was. That's going why like, everybody's fucking running to Quincy. What's that? That's why you guys are all hiding in Quincy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Seriously. stay away from that. Fucking, I wouldn't even want to be in Brown. Dude, you should go. You should find something to do tomorrow, though. I'll like, find something to do. <laughs> I don't know, mean that. I mean, like, find like, I don't know. Something. So you're kicked out of Father Bill's right now for thirty days. How did that happen? Um, I called the staff guy Charles, a fucking nigger. He's really? black. Yeah. Right. But he was nice, though. He is nice. And uh, Judy, she was a she used to work at a fucking prison. I called her a fat cunt. I actually you volunteered there. Where? Proud uh, Bills. You do? I did, like, a couple of years ago. What, handing out food and shit? Yeah, and doing, like, the check-ins. Like, oh, okay. Patting all you guys down. Hmm. Yeah. How was that? Was that fun? It really wasn't bad. So do you know um, June that used to work there? She's one of the staff there. The only people I remember at all are this chick who has gig- gigantic tits. Mm. Like they were huge. I think she went to school. Was she and she was actually working there. She wasn't just volunteering, so I figured she might even still be there. But And then the guy who runs it, kind of. Uh, the smaller, the short Bill? dude. No, the guy who does like the nightly shit. Like, uh, There's a lot of them. I really? Know, all this, there's a bunch of different stuff. The short guy who goes out and smokes cigarettes with you guys. Uh, he's got gray hair. Old guy? Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I see him at Walmart. I asked him for money. But he, he's a nice guy. I don't think he works anymore. Because he knew Dorothy. Dorothy's been going there on and off for years. That fucking bitch. Well, they treat people like shit. Like, some of them do, at least. Yeah, they do. <laughs> fucking... <clears throat> You know, Quincy Medical's closing down. Yeah, yeah, I was actually there the other night. There was there nobody yesterday. there. I went there yesterday. Because my friend, Dennis, he's 62. Fucking two days in a row. He's fucking gotten taken out of the file bills in an ambulance. Why? I thought it was a Friday. I did or drink a fucking liter fucking before fucking noon. <laughs> by himself. Which I'm used to fucking... Me and so I'm, he wanted to die. Oh, he's got... Same kind of cancer as I do, and fucking, but he, he's just a mess. He is a mess, but because it was a bunch of us, now there's, and then you know everybody dispersed to do their own thing. I was kind of like miserable, but I don't know. I'm glad I'm on this side of town. The other side of town is just nothing but fucking scumbags. But this side of town's all fucking homeless people too. Yeah. I want to be the only one. <laughs> there definitely are a lot of people over here. Yeah. Because, no, like, to get into Father Bill's, you need to walk there, obviously. So, like, sick by. Yeah, and then uh, you gotta be in before the streetlights come on. I remember yeah. fucking sitting in Bradley Park. I always used to hate that. You yeah. gotta be in when the streetlights come in, Dustin. Come <laughs> on. Now, fuck you. Yeah. I used to sneak out Dave's fucking window in the basement. I don't think I've ever been in that house. No? No. Yeah. It looks a lot better than when I lived there. <laughs> I didn't check it out. I, I drove through the neighborhood the other day, but... Mm. Yeah, the lady I put, I went around did side. a new fucking porch and redid the whole fucking place. And, like, I was like, shit, when I lived there, it was the shittiest house in the fucking block. Yeah, remember was Mike a... Gasper? Remember yeah. Remember Gasper's war? Oh, I remember Mike Gasper. Remember the Facebook war you guys had? Yeah. Wow. You yeah. really should have killed him for that. I know. <laughs> what am I going to do? I almost broke his leg his first fucking week at the In the day. neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. Like, get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> his dad welcome comes with hood. his dad and mom at the front door. My, my grandma's like, Dustin, what did, what did you do? <laughs> uh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing, Nana. Well, they used to do that weird wrestling thing. Remember how they used to wrestle on Gasper's front lawn? And, like, it nope. would get violent. <clears throat> I jumped off his porch on top of somebody once. I forget <laughs> who. That's when I was fat. <laughs> I forget who it was. It might have probably been Gasper. Huh? <laughs> But his sister got kind of cute. Yeah. But she's snobby. She ended up getting married recently, I think. She's a slut. Yeah. I almost kicked the shit out of fucking, uh, the fuck's his name? Who's your neighbor? Uh, Mike. 
Murphy? Yes. <laughs> it's fucking, I did a run for him. Really? Ago. And fucking, we were parked at the side of the stop and shop, me and this girl I was with. But I didn't know he went in the store with his dumbass friend and walked up and down liquor aisles, not old enough, looking at what they want. Oh, and then yeah. And the cops come, and I was like, I kept on talking to him, you know, texting. I was like, dude, you got me something to go to court. I want 40 bucks. I'm going to kick your ass when I see you. And to this day, he keeps running away from me. Wow. I haven't seen Dude, him. what a fucking... I always hated that kid, but... If I you're... If you're... If you're... Fucking... Retard... Behavior is getting people in trouble. You gotta yeah. at least throw them a couple bucks. <laughs> I remember when I turned 21, that fucking first New Year's Eve. Fucking, I was hanging out with Jason Moore, and he was driving. I fucking ripped so many people off. I made over $700 in profit. Just mm. all day just driving around. And all me and Jay asked, the two girls that we were with... To save us some booze for when we get done. Yeah. What's left? A sip of Alize each. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I, now I got all this money and nothing's open. You ever, uh, you ever try pimping? No, I haven't pimped anybody. I, I uh, hung out with a hooker. Yeah. Fucking, I used to fuck her for free. Yeah? I was staying at the presidential inn. And, uh, <clears throat> I found out she was a hooker because I'd always had my door open. And so would she. And I'd see all these fat old people pulling up to my door. Uh. And I'd just point that way. <laughs> and finally, she's walking by one day, and she asked me for a cigarette. And I was like, come on in. I know what you're up to. Yeah. She's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, and I'm like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> so I started talking to her. And I was, she said she'd go over to the clients, and she'd come back. And I always see her like this. I'm like, listen, I'll smoke with you, and I'll drink with you. Just make sure you clean. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to that. Yeah. And she'd be like, she, car, she charged $350 an hour. And those sad motherfuckers, they only really be in there for like 15 minutes. And then she'd be coming back counting money. I'm like, damn. And she was only 20. Yeah. She, this chick got a rose. She was fucking cute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was fucking cute. Dude, that's terrifying. She'd disappear off the face of the planet, though. Yeah. That happens. Yeah, she was from Blista. She talked like she was a fucking black chick. Really? Yeah. Fuck it. I was gonna go to the shelter for lunch, but fucking... I went there two weeks ago with Dorothy. We were we sat in the penalty box. We call it the penalty box. You know, before you go in the door, you, they gotta buzz you in. Yep. We sat there. It was Everybody's getting roast beef. And, like, they hand us bag lunch. It was a fucking cheese sandwich. <laughs> I sat there for an hour for a fucking cheese sandwich. I was like, are you serious, people? <laughs> and it took sandwich. us an hour to walk from fucking the other side of town to the side of town. And I was freaking out. I was like, I walked ha an hour for a cheese sandwich. <laughs> and he has that Was there any like, mayonnaise or anything? Oh, yeah, but I didn't put it on. I gave my... But then he's like, he has like, let me go see if what else I can get you. She comes back with another cheese sandwich. <laughs> So I'm bitching as me and Dorothy cross the street and fucking I get five bucks from one guy then I get 20 bucks from another lady and I'm just bitching about the cheese sandwich everybody and like I asked some lady if it's gonna rain and I guess that just popped in the head here's 20 bucks I didn't ask her for money yeah fucking I've been watching the cars since I've been in there like normally I go up the cars sometimes but you know I'm not in the mood to yeah I haven't drank beer in a while. Yeah? yeah fucking. So how much, on average, do you think you drink every day? Depends on how much money I have. Yeah, true. <laughs> and, you know, like, days like this, I don't, I normally don't have money like I normally do. Like, if it's a nice day, I go right up to that fucking old bastard and ask him for money. <laughs> I was down in a uh, Hancock Tobacco, and I was, I was pressing my buttons. I asked this guy I want, this old guy, I kind of followed him, walking next to him. I'm like, get her a dollar? He's like, no. I'm like, you got 75 cents? He's like, no. I'm like, you got 50 cents? He's like, no. I'm like, you got a quarter? He's like, no. I'm like, 24 cents? 23, 22? He's like, take five bucks to get the fuck away from me. <laughs> okay, Genius. thank you. I used to sleep in the parking garage. Fuck it. That sucked. I was standing up on the top floor and I'd always peek because cops would fucking sleep up there in the middle of the night. And I, I took my shoes off one day, and this guy comes up. He's like, what are you doing to my spot? <laughs> oh, shit, your feet stink. I'm like, all right, you can have the spot. And I went over to the other side, and I can hear him bitching. Oh, this shit smells. I just started laughing. Your feet really smelled that bad? Oh, they were fucking cool. 
<laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? Air him out. <laughs> I remember a couple times I got PC'd, and the cops would put my shoes in, like, when they bring you in, and they'd be like, oh, you fucking feet freak. I'm like, well, you made me take my shoes off. <laughs> right. I'm and I'd have to do the shoes walk on. of shame. I'm like, can I go out the front? They're like, no. So I'd have, you're supposed to, when they let you out, go around. What, the bells? The, no, uh, the police station. They let you out the front door to the lobby. They're like, no. No, no, no. You, you, you leave the back dog. Like to, walk <laughs> down the fucking off ramp and be like, alright, this Dude, dog. Putting on my fucking shoes. And when I was in court the other week, fucking my boots are flapping everywhere. I'm like holding the fucking rail and trying to get up and falling all over the place. I had, I had hospital socks on and all I could smell is the scent of my stench feet. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Even this charity guy just like leaning back at me. I was like, yeah, well, you keep me. All right. <laughs> a lot of people I know, like, they just started getting shoes with Velcro. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to sink to that level. Yeah. What do you get on now? I got boots on. Fucking, one of the times I couldn't get my laces back together, I had these neon green shoes. So I just wrapped them all around the fucking thing. Like, <laughs> it's like duct tape. And I was walking around and you were like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, I just got out of jail. I'm not happy. Yeah, don't fuck with this. No. Don't fuck I'm with my shoes. I'm back in jail if I don't fucking destroy my shit. I've had like... When's the last time you were in jail? Oh, God. When's the last time you saw Officer Riley? I don't know Officer Riley. <laughs> I, I don't know. I remember I went to fucking Rockland one time, and I, I don't know, I was sitting on three pints of vodka that were all fucking, you know, all open. And I threw one away, and I was panhandling out front of fucking the 7-Eleven, like an idiot. And next thing you know, the cops fucking PC'd me. I'm in the back of the cruiser. How did they PC somebody for just, like, something like that? Being drunk. drunk. Oh, you were actually being Oh, I was drunk. fucking, I was obliterated. <laughs> being drunk in public. <laughs> fucking. I had all these bottles next to me and all this shit, and fucking... I'm handcuffed in the back of the fucking cruiser, and I'm watching them with this dude, Freddy. The cops are fucking talking to him. That dude, that now guy he's looks like he's phone. like a... Like, Down syndrome. Yeah. He's it, does he actually ones. have Down syndrome? No. He's just... <laughs> he's just fucked up. <laughs> fucking, he's one of the ones, him and his boy were the ones that fucking came at me. Really? Yeah. That he, guy? Well, his... He pushed me. Because I wouldn't be afraid of that guy. I'm not. I've beaten the fuck out of him so many times. Really? But his boy is the one that fucking... Take enjoyment of that. Yeah. I, I enjoy fucking kicking his ass. He was starting with me because the Tedeschi's with the deli. Me and Dorothy were drinking in there, but we when we drink in there, we drink a vodka in a water bottle. This dude, Kevin Wilson, I know, he decided it was a bright idea he had a couple of days ago to go in there and just piss in the store. Why? I don't know. He's fucked in the head. Now, Freddie thought it was my fault. And I was like, dude, I wasn't with him. I was on the other side of town. I was over here. This was cheese sandwich day. <laughs> <laughs> and day. I come back, yeah, that, 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 oh, wow, that makes the day even worse. I get fucking jumped, I have a cheese sandwich. <laughs> I didn't realize that till now. I don't even know, I'm all fucking scrambled. Yeah, I'm sure the days sort of blur together when it's like, just, there's not like, it, uh, do you go in a lot of buildings, or do you spend most of your time outside? Most of my time outside. Do you like it? Outside of the fact when it rains. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been in snowstorms. My fucking two winters ago. That's cute. She's so hot. Yeah. That girl Amanda was pretty cute too. But she's yeah, sober. she's cute. Yeah. I've known her for fucking a couple of years. Yeah. Not well. I can't even say a couple. Like you know, ten years. I don't even know how long I've known you. Since like we were kids. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Since childhood. No, this is all fucking. I'm not used to fucking like. I, it's, honestly, I haven't seen, like, anybody, like, seen you and her in fucking years. Yeah? I've, like, wow. yeah, I disappeared. Yeah, I you really, really did. Disappeared. I've been in Quincy. No, you really have disappeared. Because like, I don't Facebook document Dude, anymore. you gotta get on Facebook. It's, like, the only way people know you're out here. And, like, at least, like, if you have something to say, you can say it and you know people will listen. <coughs> like, True. people, be, nobody thinks, like, there are people out there who are, like, Facebook idiots like, and they, like, say things, and people, like, like almost like laugh at him. Yeah, like, well, Gaspar doesn't even post unless he's fucking, like, harassing you. Yeah, I know. But, uh... I don't even know what the hell's been going on on my page. 
No, nothing really. People are just like, are you alive? <laughs> like, doom dog. <laughs> <coughs> I'm alive. I'm still kicking. Yeah. I just... Oh, oh, I don't want to go to the library anymore. I used to fucking <laughs> walk to the Hingham Library from here. Every oh, fucking, what? like, Tuesday. Why don't you just go to the Quincy Library? Fuck that. Do you, like, you don't even have to pay for a library membership. No, you gotta have an ID. Yeah. You have to have an Dude, ID you to get a library you can be able to get an card. ID so quickly. There's oh, gotta be a way to get an ID. I, can't, I got a paper copy down at the shelter. Well, they call it the ranch. They call Father Bill's the ranch. That's that's terrible. I know. And like, you know, people are like, <laughs> did they feed yet? And like, what am I, cattle? Like, oh my god. They do talk like that too. Like, I fucking hate them. One woman was having like a breakdown because somebody wasn't giving her her meds when somebody else the previous day mixed meds into a bottle to yeah. like, for whatever reason, they mixed the meds. I'm listening. And, uh, yeah. And, um,. She like just wouldn't give it to her, and the lady was gonna have like a breakdown. Like it was probably all, like all sorts of shit that you can't stop taking. What's that? Oh, um, stuff. It's like Benadryl. Yep. I um, they gave me this fucking shit for my fucking cellulitis, and fucking uh, it's like a skin infection. Yeah. Like my feet are fucking swollen. Really? Yeah. So and that's why your feet smell. Yeah. Well, that too. I know they stink. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And, um, I had an allergic reaction to this shit. So they gave me Benadryl. And I was like, I Dude, you're gonna get, this. like, what those soldiers got in Vietnam. Like, Croc, like, croc, croc foot. Yeah, or like, uh, yeah, like jungle rot. Yeah, I feel like I got it. You gotta air those things out. You're right. I do air them out. Oh. <laughs> I just don't, when I air them out, I just make sure I'm not around anybody. <laughs> Fucking, it's, they're lethal. Yeah. Yeah, these things are supposed to, I don't even keep track of fucking how much I'm supposed to take them. I'm just gonna pop them in my mouth. Better all those things help you sleep. Not when I'm sober. Yeah. I don't even consider it sleeping. Like, if I'm not fucking drunk, I can't sleep. Wow. Because I, I don't consider it sleep, I consider it passing out. Yeah. Uh, I'll just fucking put this in here. I'm making a mess. So, I have all this shit. where do you sleep? Here, there, there, everywhere, wherever I can. Yeah, like under a tree, pretty much. Um, yeah, You're I like slept, Huckleberry Finn. I slept over here the other night between the lobster traps. <laughs> Fuck him. Well, that's a safer. Actually, no, it's not. I figure like things will be like rooting around. Like, like I hear mice and rats and birds. And... What's the craziest thing you have seen, like animal wise? Sorry, like, did you ever wake up with a coyote sniffing your mouth? Um. No, but, um, I was behind Cam and when, when I first came out here, and fucking, it was snowing. All I did was just lay on the ground, and I had my, I had a tarp. Down syndrome guy, Freddy, found, stole a tarp from a backhoe and gave it to me. And fucking, I was laying on the ground with a tarp over me, so it didn't even look like there was anybody there. And so, I woke up one morning, because it was snowing, and I see footprints right at my fucking face. Whoa. I, I look at the paw prints, and there's 10 feet from my feet, there's coyote shit. And fucking, I had a fucking stray cat that wouldn't leave me alone. I went into Domino's, and fucking, I was like, there's this cat, and the cat's standing at the door, like, Mwah. and I was like, can I get some bread to feed this fucking thing? So they gave me some leftover pizzas, so I go to the side of the building, and then this yeah, delivery guy is like, here, here's a freshly made pizza for you. I was like, shit, I'm gonna keep this cat. And, like, they gave me free pizzas, and I remember there's four coyotes that came up, and, like, I was, I, I killed three of them. Was <laughs> stabbing the shit out of them. Really? I go over, and one of the other ones fucking got my cat's fucking head in its mouth. Oh. So I fucking butchered the thing. You it. killed four coyotes? Yeah. <laughs> I got, I went and got checked out, because I got bit. No rabies. <laughs> I was pissed. I've been attacked by fucking so much shit. Oh, a couple months ago. My buddy Bill, he was like in his 50s, he thought it was a good idea to feed this skunk. We called it the Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> and fucking, he would feed the thing. I'm like, Bill, the thing's gonna keep coming. <laughs> and like, it was just a couple tarps set over so the thing can get in anywhere. And then we put some cardboard things down. And fucking, me and Dorothy are just sitting there. And fucking, she's got her feet up like this, the knees up. And I was like, honey, don't move and the skunk goes underneath her 
I've never seen her so scared in her fucking life. Like, that's, like you just seen the ghost, like... And uh, then the skunk goes around and crawls on my lap. And I'm, like, looking at the thing. It's looking at me. And then it goes over to my buddy Bill. He's laying down. It goes up to his head. And it starts snipping his nose. And snips his mouth. And then it goes, like, right next to the side of his face. And he's like, why is there a skunk three inches from my face? <laughs> and I was like, dude, I told you. Because they would eat leftover Chinese food and fucking pizzas. So one day when she was on, she's got crutches. I take my knife and, like... I started sneaking out because I'm watching the thing. It's got its head in a bag. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to kill this thing. So I put, and I see her crutches, like, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> so I put the knife in my mouth. I grab one of her crutches. She's like, what the fuck? So I just get up on him. I'm like, die, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm bashing the fucking skunk. It's sprayed. But I killed it. Yeah. And I go back to her, and she's like, looks like she's going to cry. And she's like, I don't want that crutch anymore. And fucking... So I was like, hold on a second. I'm gonna make sure it's dead. So I went back with a stick and bashed his skull in. And my buddy Bill wanted to make mittens out of the thing. And I wanted the hat. But I bagged it up and put it down across the path. And three days later, it was gone. But it was dead. Yeah. And like, <laughs> you, we you did a good walking, job. We'd be walking and that fucking crutch, it would always hit me. My legs tripped me and fucking hit me in the head. Like, I feel like that skunk fucking came back from the dead and cursed that fucking crutch. Yeah? I don't know. Everybody thought I was crazy. I know. <laughs> the skunks crazy. in the crutch. Yeah, fucking... I don't even know. I've lost my mind. Yeah? Can you tell? Dude, I would... I would, I would too. Fucking... I'm not, like, ten anymore. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> fucking... When we were younger... Fucking, we used to play Jump the River all the time. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know what the hell happened to my brother. I feel like my brother had springs in his fucking feet because he could jump fucking far. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm fat. Yeah. I can't jump that far, Dave. Yeah. I remember fucking uh, Susan, my neighbor, almost ran over your brother. Really? Oh, right, yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah. That was I think crazy. I broke your brother's nose when we were younger.